So obviously you mentioned earlier, uh, James, how important uh, these people are as volunteers and without them you certainly can't survive. Um, you talk about good uh, communication with them. Um, with your volunteers, how do you look to, to thank, thank them at the end of the day? We thank the, uh, the coaches um, at the end of the season. Uh, we have a, um, a prize giving and uh, as much as the prize givings are about the children and the junior and youth players and uh, recognising them for the work that they've done on the field, it's also important to recognise the coaches for the work that they've done. We make sure every season that letters of, um, of thanks go out every year to all those, those coaches. Uh, we thank them for their time. Wherever possible also we apply for funding so that we can assist those coaches because they put a huge amount of work into uh, travelling. Uh, in the far north there is a lot of travel each Saturday to get to the games, um, whether it be Russell, Pai here, uh, even travelling down to Whangarei and up to Kaitaia. So we will try and assist with wherever we can with um, travel funds, um, assuming that we do get uh, funding uh, along those lines. We also make sure we thank the groundsmen, uh, the ladies in the cafeteria, the people that look after the kit. Um, everybody is thanked uh, on our website, by letter and personally at our um, prize givings at the end of the season. Do you find with those prize givings and those, uh, with thanking them in the way that you do, you do get good turnouts, they do come back and, and support those days? Yes we do, yes. They, they, they feel appreciated, they feel that, um, that they've not just done a job and not been recognised. They feel that um, what they have done has um, made an impact on the, um, the football club. The coaches in particular, they, they work towards um, making sure that all the players in, within their teams, if those players re-register again for the next season, then they've done a great job. They've, they've encouraged those players, um, made them enjoy the game. Generally, specifically in 10th and 12th grade and at the junior level, the results don't really come into it. We, we try not to work around a, a win at all costs attitude. It's about making sure that the kids enjoy the game um, and, uh, and learn the game as they progress through learning the skills and drills. So the, the coach is a vital part of that and uh, we make sure that they get recognised at the end of the season for the work that they've done.